unfortunately, as is always something that happens, the politics over this issue is already continuing with over 330 people dead amidst the wanton devastation. The center and Kerala government are at loggerheads over whether or not there was an adequate warning. Yesterday, we accessed IMD's red alert to Kerala administration that had warned extremely heavy rains and potential landslides just 18 hours before the disaster struck. The Pinaray Vision government has claimed that that is not the case, but BJP is unwilling to let either the Kerala government or Rahul Gandhi off the hook. The death of oh, deaths of over 300 people and the absolute devastation in Wainard which is a very poor constituency and there are almost every one of these affected families are very, very poor. I will say with all responsibility, it is not just a tragedy, it is a crime. It is a consequence of the negligence of the state government. It is a consequence of the negligence of repeated multiple state governments from 2009 onwards. And Questions must be asked about what was the what was behind this negligence, what was the commercial interest behind this negligence, for which the cost is being borne by the innocent people of Wainart. No, there is no blame game here. See, the Kerala is facing such a disaster, and in the parliament, if some of the parliament members who belong to the India Alliance wants to put the blame on the union government. The parliament should not be misled. So the, put the facts in place. It is the responsibility of the Home Minister to place the facts before the House. Now, former Wayanad MP and future Wayanad Congress candidate Rahul Gandhi and Priyanka Gandhi Vadra today were briefed by Wayanad administration as part of their visit. Rahul Gandhi spoke as well, calling it a unique tragedy, but did not attribute any blame. I have been here since yesterday. As I said yesterday, this is a terrible tragedy. We yesterday went to the site. We went to the camps, we assessed the situation there, and today we had a meeting with the administration and the panchayat. Uh, they briefed us on exactly the number of casualties they expect, uh, the number of houses that have been damaged, and their strategy. Uh, we have said that we are here to help in any way possible. Uh, Congress family would like to commit to build a hundred plus houses here. Kerala has not seen this type of a tragedy in one area. Uh, and I think uh, I'm going to raise it in Delhi uh, and also with the chief minister here that this should be treated differently. This is a different level of tragedy and it should be treated differently. Now, to add to that, the state government found itself under attack because it sought to direct all science and technology institutions as well as scientists to not undertake any field visits to the Mipardi village, as well as directing scientists from refraining from expressing their opinion on the matter. After massive backlash, however, the state government had to withdraw the orders, clarifying that the intention was not to deter the scientific community, but to ensure that no statement from them causes any panic amongst the people. We leave you up to the viewers to decipher what that means. The BJP's Shahzad Punawala, however, has equated it with a Talibani fatwa aimed at suppressing the truth. Congress MP Hebe Eden, who has been vocal about Wayanad landslide in the parliament, spoke to us about this issue. No, we should understand, the people of this country should understand why frequent landslides are happening, what is the ecologically sensitive part uh, in Kerala, which uh, continuously disasters have been happening. And there has also been a conflict between the central and state government regarding the early warnings, etc. So, when more scientific analysis happens on this, I think the people would get better understanding of the situation. So, uh, we would welcome the situation.